Across the country, one notorious breed of British females is giving women a bad name. They cause havoc and mayhem up and down the land, and the problem is getting worse. For some people, I am too much. Get pissed, shots, jumping about, arguing with someone. They're called ladettes, and they're making the headlines for all the wrong reasons. So we've reopened Eggleston Hall, an old-fashioned finishing school in County Durham, to see if we can teach some manners to eight of Britain's most shameless ladettes. Tell me, ma, Randy Flora, atropa purea. It's going to be a gruelling term, and at the end, only three girls will be presented to the cream of British society at a lavish graduation ceremony. She's fabulous breeding stock. I would be delighted to have her have a child with one of my children. But this week, it's doubtful that these reluctant recruits are teachable at all. There's crime and punishment. Absolutely appalling. War. My name, just for the record, is not hardcore. It's Harvard. And peace. You look lovely. And mutiny in the county. Oh, you know, no, no, you listen to me a minute, though. I'm up to you with you two. And by week's end, an emotional turn of events. <laughs> Seems like I just went. It's Monday morning, and on their way to breakfast, the six remaining ladettes discover the new timetable. Flower arranging, ride wine tasting. Oh, lovely! I'm happy with that. It's a normal enough beginning for what will turn out to be the most traumatic week in the school's long history. Last week, the ladettes met some eligible bachelors at a luncheon. This week, Nicole reveals that the girls must entertain them. Dear pupils, at the end of this, your second week at Eggleston's Hall, you will be required to host a formal dinner dance for 11 guests here at the hall. They will be expected to cook an elaborate three-course dinner, choose fine wines and craft decorous flower arrangements. And after the dinner party, one girl will be expelled. We're going to be like our little uh, slaves in there, aren't we? It's pathetic. I've never hosted a formal din dark before in my bloody life. I'm never gonna mess it right up. Really. Yeah, but at least we will win it together. You know we'll be able to get pissed the day before it happens. How the hell are we gonna do this? At the heart of the finishing school curriculum lie the culinary arts. You've got to take 50 grams, add some of that. Are you with me now? Yes, gosh now. Exhausting. <laughs> In the kitchen, Rosemary Schrager has a week to make gourmet chefs out of these complete novices. Like this, and then like that. Right, off you go. Come on, you've got half now. You should easily have it done by that. Pancake souffle will be the pièce de résistance at the dinner. It's a difficult dessert that would challenge the most accomplished of cooks. No, 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 no. You've got to measure. Look, that's what you've got to do first. First. No, 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 no. Stop. That's enough. You'll kill it. Excuse me. I wasn't I'm sorry, st Amber, standing like that, I go... I didn't mean to... I'm sorry. Amber seems bored out of her tiny mind. Unbelievable. She hates it. 18-year-old Amber Jakes from Blackpool has only one interest, and it's not tennis. When Amber's not playing barmaid, she's playing in the bar. Going out is... And having a good time and drinking all the time is more important than being at home with my family. She's called a caveman and a beer monster by her boss and her parents are at their wits' end. My mum's just basically sick of me just being smashed and just doing what I want. And one night she said, You either stay in and do as your mother's told you, or you go out and you take your bags with you. And I said, well, I want to go out. And that's the decision I've made. So now... I have nowhere to live, so I'm just basically leave my stuff wherever I can, take what I can, and then just stay at whichever mate's house going out at the time. Yeah, do you think it's too much? Do you think it's too much? No. Not too much work? 
No. Good. That's good. That's what I like to hear. For Amber, the austere conditions of Eggleston Hall are proving a sobering experience. All right. Now that looks good. <gasps> and Nicole is also struggling. Now something happened here completely. Your egg whites, something was wrong with your egg whites. Because look how it's gone flat. Okay. Oh, I'm gutted. I'm proper gutted. The dinner party, oh heavens. I mean, I just don't know how they're going to make it. I'm not sure about the souffle. <laughs> There will be much more to learn in the kitchen before the week is out. But now the teachers turn their attention to the girls' physical transformation. Three grooming experts are on hand to show the ladettes how a lady makes the most of her appearance. There's quite a lump under there, isn't there? Yeah, it's not spot. No. Cockney rebel Holly's unlikely explanation puzzles Fiona Keane, a society makeup artist accustomed to more refined conversation. Somebody hit you? No, I got hit by a car. <laughs> you got hit by a car? Yeah, I walked into the... Well, the car door was open, it's driving along, I walked into it. The car door was open. Right, the, the car... Was driving, the car was driving along. Yes. And uh, look, someone had the car... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Charming. And left me with all this. Did you see the car coming? I don't know, I was drunk. The difference in style between a lady and a ladette when it comes to makeup application is huge. It has to be done in a discreet way so that someone looks at you and thinks fresh, clean, pretty, tidy, um, all the adjectives that you associate with a lady who knows how to look after herself. For some, these are uncharted waters. Simone, I believe you're not a a big makeup person are you no I, I don't wear makeup okay shall i help you go through these things 27 year old simone weber from swansea is more at home on the assault course than in the beauty salon known to her friends as simon she is more blokish than most of her male colleagues in the ta this crotch grabbing geezer bird has spent a night in a cell for stealing a policeman's truncheon when i drink alcohol i don't remember anything. If I go out for a pint, I will get absolutely hammered. Simone's behaviour is quite beyond her mother. How on earth I produced Simone, I don't know. She is a complete opposite to me. I just wish that she could be more of a lady. Cheeky Simone says her time at Eggleston Hall will be spent getting in touch with her feminine side. Two weeks is the longest relationship that I've had. Yeah, they don't stick around. <laughs> So I'm obviously going wrong somewhere. An ankle injury sustained during army manoeuvres has put Simone at a disadvantage since she arrived. But now Fiona has selected her as her unlikely model. Gorgeous. Do you want to have some mirror now? Yeah, looks very nice, thank you. I, I could feel myself sort of rising in my chair as I, as, I was looking in, as I was looking in the mirror. I wouldn't go out like it, but... I think it makes me look a little bit more feminine than, than, than normal. Kelly Simpson, however, has less faith in hairdresser Judy Russo, even though she's good enough for royalty. I look like an absolute cock. I'm known as Kelly with a long, black, swaying hair. Now I'm going to be like Kelly with a short hair. It looks like Jodie Marsh. Thoroughly modern Kelly Simpson from Cardiff loves to get physical. When she's not partying, she's a nightclub yeah, bouncer. I've been thrown down the stairs for club and my knee cut all open and I've been hit on numerous black but black eyes. And her boss thinks she's the business. Flies like a butterfly, stings like a bee, that's Kelly. Her career and liberal ways mean Kelly's a very unconventional catch. I think I make a, a good wife, give or take a few things. This self-declared nymphomaniac will struggle to cope with chaste Eggleston Hall. Yeah, I think that's it. And finally, the teachers arrive to witness the transformation for themselves. Good heavens. Good. Kelly, mm -hmm. you look lovely. I mean, look at you, Simone. Did you ever think you could look like this? No. Oh, it's brilliant. The makeovers have left the ladettes looking like ladies. School principal Jill Harbord hopes it may encourage the girls to behave accordingly. Shop. 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 
the six remaining ladettes are practicing their elocution. Their efforts soon reap a welcome reward. Now, what we've decided to do, because you look so lovely and you're all so excited, we've had a little discussion and we've decided that you can go to the pub tonight. Oh, thank oh, you, thank so you much. very much. All right, now remember, you look like young ladies and you should act like young ladies. You're our ambassadors to Eccleston Hall. Do not disgrace us. Act like ladies. Shrek said, act like ladies. Act like ladies. We'll give it a go. <laughs> ladies. Just like the finishing school students of the 50s, the girls were allowed out to the pub one night a week. However, with the prospect of an early curfew, Simone and the other girls hit the bar with a vengeance. Cheers. No. There's your double in there. All right, I'll have this and both Have you got, like, um, cherry shots or something? Oh, it's like fish from pudding. It's strong. Yeah, we'll have some of them. Three. Go on, girls. The ladettes are eager to let their hair down. But the alcohol is having unwanted effects on Amber. I love my pipes. I just feel a bit... And Simone. What's going on? <laughs> You're right, and I see it. Do you want to come to the toilet? <laughs> oh my God, you're making me... Go to the toilet, touch me! Back at Eggleston Hall, Mrs. Harbord and Mrs. Schrager indulge themselves in a game of canasta. Okay, it's your turn. The girl's attention now turns to men, and Holly is not backward in coming forward. She's soon demonstrating a technique honed in Basildon. Over here now! Come on, over here with us! Come on! Come on, over here! 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 What am I supposed to do with this manky little thing? Boo's mad Amber is in her element. Are we getting waggy turtle? <laughs> Matters are getting out of hand. But Kelly gets a grip, and soon the ladettes are homeward bound. <laughs> Only ten minutes late, the girls re-enter the hall, keen to avoid detection and continue the party. <laughs> but when Mrs. Schrager appears, it's clear she's in no mood for fun. She all the pies. She all the pies. Mrs. Schrager, Mrs. Schrager, she all the pies. This is so disrespectful. Will you please yeah. get undressed and I'll talk to you tomorrow? No. No, talk to me now. What do you feel then? I am friend, you feel. Talk to you as a friend now. Come on. The trip to the pub has been a disaster, but the full consequences won't become clear until the morning. The next day, there's a black cloud over Eggleston Hall Finishing School. With heavy hangovers, the girls contemplate the consequences of their drunken exploits at the pub. You know why we're here? Obviously, anything I say has absolutely no effect whatsoever. In all the years that we've been running this school, nothing has ever happened like that before. The appalling behaviour after going to the pub. Holly, last night you were incredibly drunk as well. Um. No I'm excuse sorry, at all. I'm so sorry, because you probably won't accept it, but... No, um, you're going to have to redeem yourself in some shape or form. Simon, you were the rudest person last night you could ever imagine. Oh, no, 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 listen, no, 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 you listen no, to me a minute, no, I'm up to you with you two. Oh, excuse me. Whenever I'm naughty, you see me, whenever I'm good, oh, boss, will you stop off? Kick me out, do what the fuck you want to do, I'm up to you with you, too. I've tried my heart, that's all I do is put me down, will put you, me down. Will you please sit down? Will you please sit down? Shut up, Fuck 
off. Kick me out, put a fucking woman to you. Really pissing me off now. Right, well, that was a little example of how you should not behave. Simone and Holly will not be joining the riding this afternoon. I'm afraid we do run this school, not you. Okay. It's not only the teachers who are shocked by Simone's reaction, but the girl herself. Simone is ready to quit. Why do you want to fight us when we're just trying to help you? I know you're trying to help me, and that's why I feel so guilty. I just can't do it. I don't want to put on this act of, yes, I'm a lady straight away, because I'm not. I'm not. I'm That's trying. why we're here, to help you, to become a lady. Yeah, but I'm being rude to you now, and I don't want to be rude to you. When I'm rude to somebody, it's time for me to get out of here. I don't like being rude to people. Well, how, do you, is that how you do in life? You give up the moment you're rude? You just give up? I walk away. Well, why don't you, for the first time in your life, not walk away? I think if you threw the tile in at this moment, I think you're doing yourself a big injustice. Stop thinking about yourself so much, and start getting on and thinking about the content in your life and getting on with it. OK. This is a green and pleasant land. There could be no better place for a ladette to appreciate traditional country pursuits. This term, there's a new subject on the finishing school curriculum. The girls are to learn to ride, just like a lady. In bygone years, side saddle was considered the only way for a lady to proceed properly on horseback. Oh, she looks very nice, sitting very straight. Under the expert Excellent. tutelage of Sarah Sherwin, vice chair of the British Side Saddle Association, the girls rise to the occasion. Do you think, Amber, you'd like to try a little trot? While Amber is sitting pretty, Holly and Simone have been given a punishment that fits last night's crime. All yours. Oh, my God. <laughs> On the way home from the pub, they were both sick in the minibus. <laughs> but that looks really, really nice. For tough nut Nicole, the horse riding has brought back nostalgic memories of more innocent times. It's just so nice to be back on a horse. It made me realise how much of it's part of me. And I used to have a horse and I sold him for all the wrong reasons. A lot of the times I was uh, getting out my nut. 18-year-old Nicole Hart left school without a single qualification and now she's out clubbing five nights a week. Get pissed, bar, shots, jumping about, arguing with someone. This irrepressible rebel from Romford loves nothing more than drinking, fighting and stealing her girlfriend's boyfriends. And only last week, Nicole had a narrow escape. Waving a young man's undergarments. But this week, she's beginning to thrive. I think they did remarkably well. Once they were sitting really well, they started to look beautiful, didn't they? And they're pretty, they're sweet people. They're really nice people underneath it all. They're lovely. Simone and Holly are still paying their dues. I'll, I'll never normally be sick. I don't know what I'm, I must have been laggard. Pint-sized tearaway Holly Clements is 21 and barred from every club in Basildon. I'm barred from here, I'm barred from the whole of Festival Leisure Site, I'm barred from here as well, and they said I was barred from here as well for about a year. If she can find a pub that will let her in, she thinks nothing of drinking away all her dole money. In the evening, I go out and just get laggard. That's all I do, get laggard. I can't carry on like this, I'm 21 years of age. Although the punishment is upsetting, the lesson seems to be sinking in. At the end of the day we did it, so we clean it up. I just have a laugh, don't I? I don't really take anything that seriously. Yeah, I sorted. I really want to change. And I think it's like when I have a drink, that's when like, I get a bit out of control. Progress towards the week's big test, the dinner party, has been far from steady. The focus of Friday evening will be the meal itself and time is short. Whisk, 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 whisk. I want a beautiful mayonnaise from all of you, please. As they struggle, Rosemary will decide who will make cooks and who will be hostesses on the night. Friday night starter will be a crab mayonnaise and avocado salad. Oh, whisk, what Nima, what's that? That's pathetic Nima. 
it's a long way from a pot noodle. Uh, excuse me, what is that? Well, oh, start no, again. Stop. Holly is the first to crack. Oh, what? She can't stand the heat. Holly! And now she's getting out of the kitchen. How dare you swear like that? I'm trying and I can't do it. I can't cook. Sorry for swearing, but I'm just getting frustrated because everything. Why I'm... give up? You're, You're not a giver-upper. Everyone goes, "Oh, you are doing it wrong." Holly, I get frustrated. Say to yourself, "I can do this. I can oh, take I it. Can do I can do it." Do you like doing this? I do. Okay, brilliant. Well done. Say, I love doing this ten times. Come on, I, I love, love doing, doing this. this. So I, love I love doing this. this. I love doing this. So I love doing this. So I love doing this. And now for the crustaceans. Having got the, those two claws off, we're now going to take these claws off. You're going to now stand it on its head. Oh. And you're oh. going to... We do not want any shell in that white meat at all. So, off you go. Everybody take a crab, please. And what I'd like you to do is try and enjoy yourselves, please, all right? For the main course, the girls will make a rack of lamb, trimmed by hand. Now, think about this. You've got 18 of these to do. Mrs. Schrager's barrage of information is pushing Kelly close to breaking point. Right, you're never going to do it like that. You're just tickling it. Go on, scrape it hard. I'm not going to help you. That's better. Come on. Just take a deep breath. You can do this. It's all right. Don't say sorry to me. Just do it. OK. Kelly, can I, can I have a chat with you? Yes, Mrs. Schrager is worried by Kelly's loss of confidence. Do you, do you want to do this? Do you want to improve your... Why don't you just start relaxing? Just stop feeling sorry for yourself. And there's no time for self-pity. On Friday, the girls must do all of this on their own. I've always got them to do it in the end of the day, but this lot... I'm not sure. I just don't know. The preparations for the upcoming Eggleston Hall dinner have been intense. Non-stop lessons all day, every day. And as the week progresses, the girls are beginning to accept each stage of their refinement in their occasionally elegant stride. Does anyone know what that might be? Carnation? Yes. They see a softer side to school principal Jill Harbord as she introduces the girls to novel concepts like elegance, beauty and Latin. This is called Telima grandiflora atropa purea. An industrious calm seems to have settled over the hall. This is my first lesson with Mrs Harbord and um, my attitude has changed towards her. Um, quite a lot actually. Now remember what I said at an angle going up into the oasis. Traditionally a lady would be expected to be proficient with a pencil and brush. So put the folds in more than you have. Okay. Art teacher Susan Wilson has asked the girls to choose subjects that have personal meaning. It's coming together a little bit, but I'm not, I'm not happy with my dragon, because it doesn't look like a dragon. Now, with Friday's dinner party only a day away, the principal arrives with a timely reminder. On Friday, there will be some esteemed guests. We actually have a baron amongst the guests. And there's a division of labour. Kelly, Nicole, Amber and Nima. You four are the ones who are going to do the dinner. Okay. The focus of Friday evening will be the meal itself, and time is short. Holly, Simone, you are the two hostesses. Now, this is your opportunity to redeem yourself, because you both socially have disgraced yourself this week. You must not get drunk. You have an enormous amount of work ahead of you, and I just wish you Lots and lots of luck. Thank okay. you, girls. For Simone and Holly, the prospect of hostessing is a dubious honour. We're sort of like slaves. 
what we've our sort of jobs like slaving like. Hey, we shouldn't have pissed about to me. That's why we that's why we that's why we're giving us this job. No, it's because we shit cookie. And the other lessons go on. In the ballroom, it's the foxtrot with Miss Vanessa. So we're going to walk one, two, and then we're going to step close and make a little turn to face the other way. Today's girls, you ask them, can you dance? And they say, oh yeah. And you get this gyrating round the floor. Can you believe what they look like? Simply dreadful. By tomorrow evening, the girls will be expected to engage a bachelor in this most refined of mating rituals. Finally, the big day dawns, and with it, the imminent arrival of the eligible bachelors. Front of house, Holly and Simone employ newly learned skills, preparing an elegant dining room. Yeah, I saw it, I think. Voila! In the kitchen, the cooks have got a few short hours to climb a gastronomic mountain. The social climax of the week is fast approaching, but can the girls get it together, and more importantly, keep it together? Hey, Red, why can't we cook with wine? If Simone and Holly are going to pull off hostessing, it's going to take teamwork. But it's an idea that seems not to have occurred to Holly. Um, they come in in ten minutes. No. Yeah. So I've got to be ready in ten minutes. Well, really now, really. I thought we had still an hour left. I've still got to do my makeup. It's gone quick, isn't it? Back here now. The bachelors are closing in. They're handsome, discerning, and rich. They met the girls for the first time last week, and will be hoping to rekindle friendships, or perhaps. Romance. The bachelors are dead on time. The same cannot be said of the girls. But Simone's lucky appearance averts a disaster. Hello. Hi, Hello. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hi. So just six of you, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay, do you want to come and join me in the drawing room? I'm just going to do some champagne. Do you want me to hold it? Good to meet you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. You're going to follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Who would? With Holly still in her room, Simone copes alone. I've actually got online to do things now. It's very really? exciting. While the drawing room murmurs with polite conversation, in the kitchen, tough girl Nicole is feeling the heat. Last to arrive are the heavyweight guests. Multi-millionaire Adrian Hamilton and the velvet-clad aristocrat Baron Charlie Lush. Once more, there's not a lady in sight. Well, when we walked into the hall, right, the hall was empty. <laughs> not a soul in sight. Anyone could have walked in, you know. Um, but then I thought, no, that's probably being a bit hard on them. Maybe I've got it wrong and they've come through the wrong door into the wrong room or something, you know. Um, there we are. <laughs> Have a drink, I think. <laughs> Again, it's Simone who rescues the situation. John Lush, how do you do? While Simone is concentrating on her guests' needs, Holly is looking after her own. Oh, did she use the dance teacher? Finally, Holly arrives, but she's precious little help to hard-working Simone. Where have you come from, Holly? You're not from Glasgow. Are you? Where are they from? <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I'm, not, I'm from um, Essex. Essex, are you? There is four of them, babe, from Essex. Kelly and Amber are up against it. But Nima and Nicole help keep the show on the road. No, 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 including Holly. Etiquette teacher Liz Brewer is keeping careful watch, as Simone wisely switches to water. I want to prove a point tonight. I want to enjoy myself, but I also want to prove that I can do it. Simone is excelling. I mean, she's doing so well. Stepping out for an upper-class breather are Greek shipping heir Michael Lebrew Woolley, and the notorious society twins, Jonathan and Edward Saxby. They really have tried, and they've been good as hostesses. It's quite awkward for Holly, because she's quite short. 
se ei niin. Se on one one syy. Joo, exactly. Bend over. Ja. I forgot to put my knickers on. <laughs> But there's definitely a delay, and I'm not quite sure. Half past eight. Make sure they're good people, though, because these are my five best. What have we got to do? Go, 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 go. I'm going to talk to me. Dinner is served. It's the start. Would you like to come through? The crab and avocado salad is an unexpected triumph. Where are these waitresses? But the main course is looking more like a wreck of lamb, despite booze-mad Amber's desperate efforts. Simone provides butler service, where the guests will help themselves. But she's offering the lamb without serving spoons. Jonathan Saxby was expecting silver service, where he would be served. Confusion reigns. Soon Simone is back, this time serving manly portions. To avert further embarrassment, Mrs. Schrager steps in. They help themselves. Yeah, I said that, I said that, but they wanted me to serve. Um, no, because you have, they have to help themselves. That's the only thing I have to say, because there won't be enough to go around. I think it's amazing that they've actually got these two courses on the table, and I think they were very, very good indeed. So as far as the food is concerned, I think so far it's gone very good. But behind the scenes, tensions are mounting. I don't mean to do We've done quite a lot tonight. I'm sure yeah, you've made a lot coffee. tonight as well. There's friction between Holly and Simone. And both not... done as good as each other. Do you, think, do, you th do you think so? Yes, I think I have. Okay, well, if you think so, then I'll have it. But there's worse. Now the souffle is misbehaving. What yeah, makes the souffle go heavier? It's gone thin. It's gone thin. What, what, what makes it go heavy? You need to whisk it a bit more, Daniel. It's not working. This has gone flat. How do you make it go thicker? Please. What are we going to do? Would anyone like some more red wine? I'm OK. Thank you. I think something's happened in there. I'm not quite sure. Somebody being stabbed or murdered. Well, I don't know. I think they're a bit frantic. The souffle refuses to rise to the occasion. So, can the girls? Amber, you've tried your best. It went wrong. She has to accept it. It's time to think outside the box. Under pressure, the girls pull off an audacious improvisation. Crepe à la dette. Oh, thank you so much, Holly. Oh, it's Holly's uh, strawberry and melon. Is it? Apparently. Wonderful. So what next? Now the cooks join their guests, and it's clear their efforts have not been in vain, much to the pleasure and relief of the teachers. Well, would you like to grab a chair? The Queen. The Queen. The queen. As the girls graciously enter the company of gentlemen, they're able to take some well-earned pride in their progress. Did you like this? You did a cracking good job. You enjoyed it. I did. It was terrific. Very nicely presented. Oh, I was starving. It was delicious. I like You've made my night now. You've made me happy. I can make it even better if you like. The subtle art of flirting comes easier to some than others. What do you particularly like? McDonald's. McDonald's. What, chicken burgers or what? Big Mac meal. I'm not convinced with Kelly. I see Kelly now taking over, um, very confident, chatting up, you know, the major bachelor here. She knows she looks good, as if this was her life. Is this an act? Is she just playing a game here? Would you like to take your partners for the fox trot, please, everyone? <laughs> The girls continue to show off their newfound skills. The effect on the gentleman is satisfyingly immediate. As Kelly and Corin move closer, the ever-watchful Liz Brewer looks on from the sidelines. Outside, Holly flirts with the Baron 
Essex style. Yeah. Well, that's like butter. And you smoke with those uh, cigars and meats. While Nicole swoons for a Saxby as he quotes Shakespeare. The syllabary, to be or not to be. Um, it ends with thus conscience does make cowards of us all. <laughs> it's become apparent to Mrs. Harbord that Holly has had more than enough to drink. It all got to me all of a sudden. I need to go to bed. I need to... Yes, I think you do. Amber, however, is determined to keep going. Yes. That's where the fucking wine is. You had a good evening. Yes, ma'am. Have you had a good evening? Did, did you enjoy your lamb? I did, particularly. Mm, I made the lamb. It was very succulent and quite moist, in fact. I think I'm prepared for bed. OK. Thank you very much, Miss Harbold. Not at all. I've got everything. Have you got enough water? Would you like some more? I'm grateful for that much amount. Thank you very right. much. OK. Tuck yourself in, keep cosy, and sleep well. Right, thank right. you very much. I'll just stay there. I hope I'm staying here. No getting up. Wisely, Holly calls it a night, I'm, I'm sure but it I'm seems there's no saving Amber from herself. You're drinking this out of the bottle and stuff, and, and I think, with all due respect, right, I think you've had enough. Yeah, um, I have had enough. But I want to drink tonight, Simone. It's, it's very Lavette like just to leave your, you know, your um, guests. Gentlemen, I know it's a little bit rude. Um, it's goddamn rude, and I'm bloody offended. The Baron and the millionaire have left, their departure as unnoticed as their arrival. What time is it now? I'll check the route next. That's the younger nice. bachelors have been abandoned yeah. and are far from impressed. Something everyone just disappeared at about 11 o'clock and we're left thinking, we're, we're left entertaining ourselves. A gracious evening's entertainment has reached its shambolic conclusion. Absolutely Saturday morning, it's Judgment Day, and a limousine arrives to escort one of the girls away from Eggleston Hall for good. In the aftermath of the dinner party, the ladettes wait together before they are summoned before the staff one by one. Tough-talking Simone has every reason to worry. Her outburst on Tuesday morning will not be forgotten in a hurry. Whenever I'm naughty, you see me, whenever I'm good, oh, boss, will you stop off? Kick me out, do what the fuck you want to do, I'm up to you with you, do You disgraced yourself, as you know. Yes. I was really cross with you, and I didn't know whether you could actually turn that corner or not. There's a lot of work to do, would you agree with me? I totally agree with you. But there's been a change. We now have a tiny amount of lady creeping in. There is a lack of confidence there, which I think... Or is she's... it a defence system? She said that um, Monday, Monday night I was disgusting. <laughs> Next up is Nima. She's certainly got attitude, but will it count for or against her? I'm not seeing the readiness to actually change anything about you. Sorry, Mrs. Hardcore, slightly disagree, only because... My name, just for the record, is not Hardcore, it's Harbord. She has it in her head that we, or I, don't like her. I want to knock her out. I want to knock her out. Don't touch me, don't. Oh, no. Let me go. There you go. Kelly's charm has seduced some. You've made my night now. You've, you've made me happy. I can make it even better time. if you like. But Mrs. Brewer thinks it's all an act. I thought you were rather professional last night. Almost like a pro. I get this feeling that once you're out of that door, it's going back amongst your friends with bravado. You know, I went and did the Ladette lady. And here I am now. You really don't know me at all, then. Would you like to go, please? Kelly is reeling from the shock of her tough assessment. Hmm. Is it so fucking... What's the jewel's name? Just fucking take it on the chin, girl. You're better than that. Seriously, you're better than that. Don't fucking listen to him. Amongst her several shortcomings, Holly's failure as a hostess will surely score against her. You're lazy, Holly. 
You're so lazy. I did try my best though, but I did let myself down. I could have maybe helped a bit more, but I've never done anything like that before. You got drunk? Yes, I did. There's a brittleness about you which is so ready to sort of fight back. Yes, Holly is a case of what you mm, see is what, what you, you get. get. Oh, okay. Oh, you got drunk again? I said yes or no. Fucking shit myself, I was. I am pissed still from last night. The teachers have noticed a dark side to Amber and her drinking. We have the Amber on Monday night. Out of your mind with drink. The next time that there is an opportunity, we're back at square one. The problem with me is I don't know. I don't have a limit. I know where to tell you to stop. You never begin. I don't actually know what really is inside you. I feel like the behaviour I was last night after a drink is the behaviour I've been for the last two years. I was with, with my, first, like my first love and I went through a lot in abortion and since that I just went. It's clear that Amber's journey from Ladette to Lady has been overshadowed by a more pressing journey within. There's a serious issue going on there. I think this is too big a problem. Right, nobody knows what's happening, so don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, no, I'm all right, I'm all right. I'm not, I'm not worried, I'm OK. I know who I am, do you know what I mean? I've, I've fucking... You've done I've well. Come, I've done well in two weeks. There's nothing more the girls can do but reflect on a turbulent week. The teachers must reach their conclusions behind closed doors. What are we going to do? before the girls troop in to hear their fate. Well, girls, this is the end of another week. A very difficult week <coughs> for you all. Holly, you have just about survived and it was by the skin of your teeth. But, Amber, it is with enormous regret and a hope that we have helped you in a small way. Your particular journey at Eccleston Hall might be over. For the girls and the teachers, it's been an emotional decision. I know what I want now. Just fucking not to go back to what I was, drinking every night to have confidence. In her heart, even Amber agrees it's the right decision. Come in. Come in. Hello. Hello, Amber. Hello. Come in. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. I just want to say thank you. I can honestly say it's changed my life. Oh. Do you know, we have never had anyone thank us. Very special. Very, mm -hmm. very special. All right. Bye. 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 I'm very upset and I just think it would have been so nice to have carried her through but it's just not the right thing for her at the moment. You knuckle down this week, yeah? Oh, that's sweet. <laughs>